Morakam, Namaste, Namaskar. Welcome back to Jal Prayag. Today, again, I'm going to continue and uh, conclude the last uh, topic which I had taken, which was horizontal sextant angle. So I'm going to uh, pick up the last few cases. And uh, this episode will end the concepts for horizontal sextant angle. If you remember, we have done already uh, case number one, two, and three. All the three cases were, were dealt with. Now, in this video, I'm going to finish off this whole HSA with case number four and case number five. And uh, these two cases are going to be very small, so it will not take much time. So let us directly go into the uh, question and then the concept. So I'm going to give you again a hypothetical question. I'm uh, still taking the vessel in the same uh, place, your Hanabokton Bay. And uh, now I'm going to observe the lights with slightly different angles because I want to take the case four and case five. Now uh, I'm showing you one light, which is 230 compass. And there's a second light, which is 050 compass. And uh, I'm going to slightly change the concept here. The third light I'm taking it as true. doesn't matter because uh, we need to look at only the case. So these are the three lighthouses and uh, I'm asking you, find the position of the vessel. Uh, just a quick recap. Theta less than 90, greater and equal to 90 have been done in the previous videos. Please go to the play playlist of chart work and uh, HSA. We'll find the video numbers as 1690 and 91. And in this first question, I'm going to deal with case number four, which is your theta is equal to 180. So that is what I'm going to do. So let us look at uh, the two lighthouses which were given in compass. Again, heading is not given. So which means uh, I'll have to try with horizontal 16 times. So this was bearing number one, bearing number two. The difference between two of them is 180. So I'm going to put myself, as usual, on the center of compass rows. I'm here. I'm going to put uh, 230 as one light and 050 as other light. As usual, I'm going to join the baseline. That means I'll be joining both the lighthouses. So when I join, you will see uh, it is already evident something here. Your center of the compass rows, that is you yourself is on the baseline itself. So, and this angle between the two lighthouses, wherever you are, is still 180. So I'm going to show you in this particular picture for the same thing. I have two lights. I'm going to join the baseline. Since theta is equal to 180, and as per the compass rows, it means my vessel is anywhere on the baseline. A small mistake usually people do is they consider sometimes they take the exactly center of the uh, line as your position. No, please remember vessel is anywhere on the baseline. So this gives me a position line. Again, I'll give you a small uh, recap. All the three earlier cases, what we did, theta is equal to 90, greater and lesser. All of them were giving me one position circle, a set of lighthouse used to give me one position circle, but this 180 will give me a position line. That means your vessel is anywhere on this line. I don't know where. So please don't consider that you are at the center of this line and start putting a fix that is a wrong. So for me, all I have is one position line. I'm going to use this concept for solving this problem. I had given you two compass bearings and one true bearing. So I'm going to use that. Just now we realized that if I join those two lighthouses which have uh, the two compass bearing, so I'm going to draw the baseline. These were the two lighthouses. I'm anywhere on this line, which I don't know. So I have a PL. Then the third light was given as a true bearing. So that means I can draw the true bearing directly from here. And uh, intersection of two PLs at the same time is a simultaneous fix. So I have mark my position. So this is how you will, uh, one of the ways you will approach here, theta is equal to 180. 
let us go for the fifth case. These two cases are very small and very easy. So let me go to the fifth case. I'm giving you a different question. Assume a vessel was uh, approaching the same bay and there is a pilot station uh, here. So let us say it was approaching a pilot station. While approaching, they found out one of the light at uh, compass bearing. They found out one more light very close to it. That is why I marked with the same name, but uh, a west and east light. It was also in the same compass bearing. Then I had a third one, which gave me true, just like the case which we did in the, uh, just a couple of slides back, what we did was similar. Again, a quick recap. Uh, I'm asking you to find the position, heading not given. So right now at this stage, I've done four cases. And uh, the videos are still the same. It's just only a repeat. Now I'm going to deal with case number five, which is the last one, which is theta is equal to zero. So let us go back to our uh, compass rows. I'll put myself always at the center. I had two lighthouses. Both of them were bearing 300 compass. So let us say one was here and another one was here. So it was just nearby, but the same bearing. Now, again, I'm going to draw a baseline, but this time, please remember the baseline, you have to draw on the outside of the two lighthouses. That means you should join the two lighthouses and it should come outside. It cannot be inside. Why? Because both the lights are on your same side of the vessel. So that means from your vessel, which is center of the compass was, both of them are on one side. So that is why the baseline should not be just drawn between the lighthouses. It should come out and that depends on that angle. So let us try to put this on the practical uh, case. So here theta is zero degrees. Why it was three zero zero and again three zero zero. So let me go back on the picture just uh, before I go to the chart. I had one lighthouse which was Bakuran uh, either east or west. So I've written both of them. So when I'm going to draw the baseline, it should be drawn like this. That means you are connecting both the lights, but that should extend on the outside of one of the lights, depending on that angle. So you should realize 300 is northwesterly of you. That is why you will see this bearing line is coming southeasterly. So you are anywhere on this particular line. We don't know. So again, I'm getting a PL. Please remember again, I'm getting a PL. So let us do this question. I'm going to mark the West uh, Bakoran uh, Lighthouse, then the East one. I had both of them as 300. Doesn't matter. Please join them and extend the line because, again, they are northwesterly of you. So you are southeasterly of both these lighthouses. And that is why it is theta is equal to zero. I got a position line again, PL. But... He has given me a true bearing also. So from this lighthouse, I have a true bearing. So I have a fix. So this was the position when that vessel was approaching the Tagal Pilot Station. You can see there's a pilot symbol. So there's a Tagal Pilot Station. I'll just uh, show you with my cursor here. It is a pilot station. Uh, what does this mean? It means that your vessel was using a concept of leading lights. So these two actually are leading lights is going to lead you to the port. So you are coming like this. This was the instant when I got my position and your vessel is going to continue like this. And with that pilot, I have shown you exactly the third uh, symbol of the vessel on the pilot station. So you would pick up the pilot and proceed towards the port. So basically, if you look at the chart and remove this baseline, you will see this course was 289.5. It was written, printed on the chart. So this is what is your leading light, or it's also called as transit bearing. So both these lighthouses are in transit bearing. and I'm using the leading light principle to approach. So uh, that's the end of uh, all the cases of your horizontal extent angle. Uh, we have done everything, all the five cases. So I'm uh, closing off uh, the, the concept of horizontal sextant angle on the playlist with this video. I'll come back with uh, some other concept, uh, maybe in a week or so. So until then, keep watching Jal Prayag.
and uh, I'll come back soon with a new video.